The Hitman's Bodyguard contains one of the most generic action comedy plot lines of all time, and it's really entertaining. So let's talk about it. So in The Hitman's Bodyguard, Samuel L. Jackson is a world-renowned hitman that must be transported across Europe to testify at the trial of a global dictator. When the inside forces of Interpol are clearly corrupted, an outside bodyguard must be brought in to protect and transport Samuel Jackson to the trial. And unfortunately, they have a long history of scuffles in the past, and therefore this odd couple must go on a road trip together filled with quips, jokes, explosions, love advice and a lot of fun. Now here's the deal. The plot line to this is as generic, template, format, action comedy, or romantic comedy as you get. It's just a set formula type movie that's high concept of what if these two odd couple people get crammed together, get run through the machine, about 75% of the way through the movie, the two people kind of break up and go their separate ways because a piece of information has been revealed, they come to back together in the end and overcome the odds. That is exactly what this movie is, that's what it looked like from the trailers, and I don't care at all because it delivered on everything you wanted it to deliver on. It's like any good romantic comedy. You already know the format going into it. You know the template. And I know when I say romantic comedies, I'm not talking about the broad sense where it includes lots of things. I'm talking about like those Matthew McConaughey romantic comedies from 10 years ago. There's a set formula to them and certain ones are really bad and certain ones are really good. And the difference between the good ones and the bad ones is just some of them, they just deliver on all the right notes. The two leads have chemistry. There's a lot of quips and jokes and all that stuff work, and you just want to see them go through this story that we've seen so many times before. And while this is an action comedy, it's very much borrowing from the romantic comedy genre of 10 years ago. And likewise, it's borrowing from the buddy cop genre of 25, 30 years ago. That's what this movie is, and it delivers on this formula very nicely. But because it is borrowing from things of the past, and it's it feels like a movie that should have come out in 1996. If it had come out in 1996, it probably would have been uh, treated with a little bit more grandeur. It seems like you know, tucking this away a little bit away in August it seems a bit odd to me because it's really enjoyable. And some of that's just because there's not a lot of movies like this made like they used to be. So I'm so happy this one was made because it's, it's a lot of fun and hopefully it'll do well and we can get more movies like this. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of a summary review. Let's talk about the good real quick. The most important thing about the good here is that Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson have great chemistry and they're just a ton of fun to watch together on screen. Uh, Samuel Jackson is just cr the cranked up on Red Bull version of Samuel Jackson that's just dropping the have bongs, mother effers left and right. I mean, it's just it's just going all out. The really fun version, the charismatic version that you just love to see on screen. The whole movie, and Ryan Reynolds is more the straight man in this one, but not really. I mean, it's not like he's like this boring, dull character. He's just as quippy, just as much attitude, punches people in the face, all that fun stuff. And so they play off each other great. There's so much fun to see on the screen. And throughout the movie, I mean, it's just joke to joke to joke. And certainly some of them don't land, but a lot more were landing than I was expecting. I, I mean, I would say I was expecting this to be good. And it's not like a great movie, but it's better than good. Somewhere between, good, so very good perhaps, I guess what you'd call that one. Um, it doesn't transcend the genre, but it had more laughs that worked than I was expecting to. My theater was laughing the whole time. When it ended, there was clapping. And that all goes back to those two leads, just having that chemistry that you just loved seeing them on screen together. And some of the action in it as well. Um, Overall, the action will be more of a negative in the future, but there's a chase scene in the middle that I thought was actually pretty nicely handled. Some of the little jokes and gags that they work into the action sequences I thought worked pretty nicely. And there's a, a, certainly an aspects of this movie that are self-parody. They know that they're doing the ridiculous version of this. They know what this type of movie is supposed to be life, like, and they take it to the oomph degree and to absurdity at points in time. And it works with the movie they're going for. And so I really liked a lot of that. 
going on in the movie. And so overall, just a very enjoyable, fun movie, moved very quickly along from beat to beat to beat. And it's R-rated, and when people get shot in the face, blood shoots out. When Ryan Reynolds puts a gun to a guy's back and just starts shooting through the guy, blood shoots out of the guy's chest. It's an R-rated movie, and you get to see bullet holes, blood, people ripping bullets out of wounds and stuff like that. Some good old time. It's not Paul Verhoeven. It's not over the top. It's not super crazy graphic, but it's like a 90s, like an 80s action movie where you actually see blood shoots out of chest and heads explode and things like that without being super gory or anything like that. So those are the positives and those are the things it needed to get right. That's what I needed to, for this to be like a very good movie for me that was very enjoyable. That's what it needed to get right. But it doesn't really transcend any of that. So let's move on to the negatives. The most immediate one, because it is a cliche, very formulaic, here's the action movie, here's the uh, romantic comedy template of how you do these types of stories and the opening scene sets up the character arc for the rest of it. We keep referencing back to to give us information we need to have. And then we have resolution to that or about two thirds of the way moving the movie and then we, all the stuff that you've seen before movies, it, you know, it, it doesn't really move into that great category when you know everything that's going to happen from, you know, 10 minutes into the movie. You know where this movie's headed. You know the twists and the turns, and it delivers pretty much everything you're expecting. There's certain points in it where they, like, almost kind of have reveals and, like, this is what really happened, and you're like, yeah, I mean, didn't we just assume that from the very beginning? That, that Didn't we kind of already know that just because of the type of the movie this is? Um, it's a very kind of generic in that sense. The other big kind of issue that doesn't let it allow it to go kind of into that great category of best of the year and anything like that, best of the, anything like that, just, just very enjoyable, is that, you know, the action's very forgettable. It's a lot of kind of up close and just cutting between hand motions and very clearly it's, you know, when there's a fight between Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds, very clearly it's not like those two guys trained for two months to do perfect choreography. It's nothing like that. It's like very close quarters type stuff, choppy. And like I said, the chase scenes are a lot better than the action shootout stuff. And there's quite a bit of chase stuff, so that's why I could say that as a positive. But, you know, a lot of the action itself, punch kicks, shootout stuff, generic, forgettable. So, but that's about it for the movie. It's just a very enjoyable movie. I just had a good time with it. It ended, my theater was clapping. They were laughing, like big belly laughs throughout the whole movie. Just Samuel L. Jackson having so much fun with it. Salma Hayek, kind of a little bit scene stealing, seeing her also cussing up a storm was quite a bit of fun. Just having tons of attitude. Um, so overall, very enjoyable movie. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. If this is your genre, if you saw the trailer and you went, that looks like a lot of fun, you're probably really gonna like it. It's the R-rated version of that trailer. So I think there's a Red Band trailer. So check out the Red Band trailer. If you enjoy it and you're like, that looks like that's good. It delivers on what the trailer promises. Now, if you saw the trailer and you went, oh, another generic action, team up these two A-list actors, see what happens. If you saw that and that's what you thought, it's not gonna win you over. The movie's not for you, it's not trying to be. It's for people like me that love this kind of thing, and I loved it. And if I'm being honest, I hope this movie does very well so we get more movies like this. I want a return of template, formulaic action movies. Just make them low budget. These are just kind of fun ones that sprinkle a couple throughout the year. It's nice we got this thing in August. There's just a fun movie at the time at the theaters. It's a Taco Bell movie. Taco Bell is not great food. Doesn't mean I don't wanna eat it every single week after church on Sundays. This is Taco Bell entertainment. It's my kind of thing. I enjoyed it. But how about you? Did you enjoy this movie? Have you seen it? Do you like these kind of like formulaic action movies where they just take two people that you love to see on screen, put them in scenarios that are fun and exciting to watch? Is that your thing? Tell me down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews like the one you're watching right now. I also do ranking videos every single weekend where I take some franchises or a director, rank all of their movies, talk about them, have a ton of fun with that stuff, but I don't want to just talk about movies, I want to talk about movies with you, so join me in the comment section, tell me what you're thinking, and thank you for watching.